just got finished up doing a little uh, putting practice out here in the field. Um, it is kind of stormy and windy and rainy and a little bit of everything in between. I don't know if you can see those trees swaying in the wind, but um, yeah, it's kind of tough out there. But anyway, just uh, doing a little Sunday fun day practicing, but had an idea um, that uh, I'll go through my bag and then uh, I've got some cool discs. I started playing probably back in high school, like in 06, um, before disc golf was quote unquote cool. Um, and picked up some cool things along the way, and I'm just a natural collector hoarder type person that I've held on to some things and um, have some cool discs that are not in my bag, but that I still have. Uh, and I just want you know want y'all to check them out, and I'll uh, go through them with y'all real quick, and you let me know if they're rare, expensive. I think there's some expensive ones, um, and or hard to find. But anyway, here's the setup. So I've got stuff I don't play with, or kind of sort of play with but don't uh, a little bit of play and then that's my normal bag um or the working bag right now but i'll start off with the working bag it's pretty cool that uh i've got i don't know, love throwing this guy it's a uh old school pfn star destroyer 172 a lot of ink been passed around a little bit um probably got this guy in i don't know like oh six or something super flippy but i love it and i can chunk it um but it will uh, flip and get out of hand sometimes. Um, but it's awesome. Got a these are just kind of basic discs, little back stamp destroyer, which is cool. Nice Wasaki signature, little Wasaki bot, Pro Wraith, uh, glue, you know, just a good old champion firebird that dies dirty. That's super sweet. Um, ooh, I was pumped about picking up this guy. Uh, glow firebird just uh love the stamp the stamp's so sick probably the coolest stamp i've ever seen um i got grabbed two of them playing with this guy currently um pumped about this got it before uh it hit the resale market so just play it paid normal price for it thank goodness but uh this disc is awesome um shouts out to big germ but this thing is super sweet uh it is beautiful and flies even better uh let's see what we got oh yeah the raptor legs uh this is a t-bird really really cool rick's awesome um love supporting him out on the tour and seeing him do well this is a sick sick uh star plastic it's crazy but the only downfall i'm in mississippi and this thing uh in pine straw is kind of hard to find to say the least but it's kind of a i mean i kind of dig the brown i don't know it's weird but it's, it's a cool disc. It throws well. This guy I am super pumped about. This is a Africa Series uh, Leopard 3. I've been trying to find the AVR 3. Um, but anyway, I love the freaking stamp. It's so cool. I like the orange. Um, if I could find, you know, yellow and black, that'd be even cooler. But yeah, this guy's cool. The orange and gold. Super nice. Um, great disc. Got a Metal Flake Gator, which love to death. Gator's a good utility disc, in my opinion. Um, got a cool Rancho Rock here. I love throwing. Luster. Luster plastic. Super sick. This is what, a San Marino or whatever rock. These are pretty easy to find, but that Luster plastic's dirty. Oh, got a couple of these Mako 3s. Just picked these up, and I'm kind of a fan. Uh, you don't have to throw them hard at all. And they just go. They glide. They hang. Kind of like a leopard. It'd be like a low leopard, you know. Um... But I picked up a couple of these. They're super pretty. Um, lots of swirls. Shouts out to Kona. Um, let's see. Snag this guy on eBay. Uh, oh, shoot. And over that Air Force, kind of that luster. Ave 3. Big Ave 3 fan. I usually drive. Sometimes, I mean, I really do put with those a bunch. Picked up an Air Force. Casey Pro as well. Super. Love the chalky. This is a good putter. Um, very, very nice. One of my real, like, real favorites that I think is the Gummy JK Pro AVR X. I mean, this thing is super soft, super gummy. Uh, down here in the south, lots of pine straw and things. So if I need something to stick, if something's a little sketchy, I mean, this thing is just tacky as all get out. It is awesome. Um, which is what I'll throw for. It's my primary putter. Um... 
and I will use it a lot for approach shots if it's dicey, you know, if I need something to sit. Uh, and one of my favorite discs is this good old first run AVR3. Um, just one, I think it's their best disc. I don't really care for the X3 that much. I think this is just a killer, killer disc. Um, big putter, big, big putting disc. Got a hole in one with this guy recently, so it's cool. Um, let's see here. Just a factory Pro SL, Thunderbird, little DX Sidewinder, Glow Rock, nothing crazy. Got a pretty sweet Halo Wraith that I like throwing, um, but I don't want to lose it, so I took it out of the bag. But this thing's super sweet. Uh, oh, check this guy out. This is like my first ever putter. Uh, I guess they call it, I mean, I don't know if you can see like the reflection off the top there. It's Champion Edition Rhino. I mean, this was like the the pat numbers on the outside of the. It's in the bevel right there. That's so awesome. Anyway, yeah, look at that, Ontario. That's so sick. Yeah, this thing's super sweet. Oh, I love it. It's so good. But I don't. I should play with it, but I don't play with it anymore just because I want to lose it. Good old Jumez Ave three. Nothing special there. Same Marina Rock. Cool. Oh, got a Galactic Ave. I should play with that. I don't. Uh, JK Pro, like I said, I love Star Mako, nothing special there. Oh, yeah, I got a sweet. It's probably the best. Hey, hey, yeah. how are you? Good. There you go. How are you? Good, good. Um, she got a sweet Leopard 3 here. That was my neighbor. She hates me because <laughs> I play disc golf all the time. <laughs> Woo. Uh, this is a sweet Toy Series Leopard. I wish I'd bought a couple of these. This thing is so dirty. The stamp is so sick. Woo, son. It's so good looking. Got another. Oh, this is the gold stamp. Firebird bought two just because it was super dirty. Saki bought. Oh, yeah. Man, this guy. This is a Destroyer. I guess it's a Toy Series back stamp. Destroyer. It's so mean. Is so mean. Look at that guy. Woo, son. Um, all right. So those are basically discs I will play with. Um, but here, let's dive into discs that I don't ever play with and or are pretty rare. Um, and this was like a lot of these are beat up because I didn't know that they would be cool. Anyway, like this is a super beat up special edition soft rhino. It's like 165, 66 grams. Super duper beat up. Uh, cool disc though. I don't know where else to find that. Got a really OG buzz. Um, nagged a sweet eagle with this thing back in the day. This thing's awesome. Don't play with that anymore. This is a wasp disc craft. This was the first disc I ever found ever, period. I don't know if it's limited edition, like the old school Discraft logo up here. Barely can see Z Wasp or something. That's cool. So these are sweet. We've got a DX first run kite. I don't even know if they made this disc, but it's super dummy. Really straight. Um, I think I remember buying this at Buffalo Peak, which is like an outdoor store that carried discs back in the day. In Jackson, Mississippi. Same thing with here. First run Skeeter. Look at that. LSU colors. Let's go. Even though LSU sucks, but um, super light, like ridiculous. I don't know if I've ever. Th I don't think I've ever thrown this disc. But I realized first run was like kind of cool. Uh, in the same vein, this is a swirly six star um, crow with the DX stamp. How cool is that? It's so pretty. A little small diameter, um, kind of like the Gator. Uh, this thing is awesome. I used to throw these things so much. It's beat up. They're so good. Same thing here. I bought two of them. They're both like 172. Man, they look so good. This is probably the coolest. Two of the coolest discs I own. They're both of these crazy crows, which I don't... Yeah, I don't know if this is first run stuff or what. Um, got all... Mic Pro AVR. You can get these on eBay. They're not too bad. But yeah, super sweet. 
Oh, that's right. I've got the back stamp for it. All right, here's video two, I guess. I'll just keep on going. I don't know if it's time limit on 10 minutes or what. Anyway, um, got a sweet McPro ABR with the back stamp. So sweet. That thing's awesome. Uh, it's kind of getting into this that I, you know, I don't throw that thing very often. I mean, I have, but not often. Uh, picked up one of these Luster AVR3s with the big rainbow stamp. Back stamp, too. Cool, son. This thing's pretty. Got a cool tie dye San Marino rock. It's just cool, period. Same thing here. Another tie dye San Marino star rock. Don't want to lose those. Got a bad boy Rancho rock here. Just, I just like them. Don't want to lose them. Uh, PFN Star Leopard. Pretty sweet. Um, just yellow and silver. Nothing crazy. Pretty light. Uh, I can't remember where I got that guy. First disc I maybe ever bought, or one of the first discs I remember buying, uh, was this this guy, um, Champion Leopard. I think I still have a picture uh, saved in the iCloud from like, you know, 08 or something. Uh, super sweet, getting faded, but man, this thing's awesome. So pretty. Uh, same thing here. Um, this is my first Ace Hole disc. Pretty sweet. You can kind of see it's fading a little bit. Um, I die champ plastic leopard. Real, real cool. Uh, yeah, one of my. Uh, this is like my destroyer back in the day. Um, the Valkyrie. PFN, super, super beat up. Eh, I shouldn't say super, super, but beat up, but awesome disc nonetheless. Still goes. Uh, let's see. Save that for last. I've got a, oh yeah, I've got a pretty nice condition. I'd say 7 out of 10 uh, PFN Destroyer here. 173. Yeah, this thing's wicked. It's swirly too. I don't know if you can see that too well, but. It's awesome. This is such a good disc. It feels great. I think I've got a couple. Yeah, I've got two Macbeths. So, Macbeth Destroyer. These things are hard to throw for my weak little arm, but man, they're sick. Um, and this was this is one I had for a long time. Got the kind of shimmer stamp, pink. It's heavy. It's awesome. And then last but not least... I think I remember buying this at the local shop. This is a first run Star Destroyer. Um, yeah, I've thrown it uh, before because I didn't think it was a big deal until people started telling me it was. Um, so it's got some marks on it, probably 8 out of 10 maybe. Rim's fine, just casual marking. But anyway, this thing is a... First run, Star Destroyer. And, uh, yeah. It's probably the best disc I have. Coolest disc I have. It's kind of a weird... You can see where they were messing with the rim a little bit. I don't know, but it's kind of wild. Anyway, let me know what you think. Um, those are my discs. Uh, and, yeah. I don't know if they're worth a lot or worth a little, but they mean a lot to me, so I'm going to keep them. Thanks.